Today we're going to look at the 2023 Audi R8 V10 Performance Rear Wheel Drive Coupe. 2023 is the final year that Audi is going to make this car with a V10 engine. Rumor has it the next variation of this car will go full electric. So enthusiasts like myself who love high revving, naturally aspirated engines, in this case 8,500 RPM, this is a swan song to what the Audi lineup has been. The Quattro version of this car is all-wheel drive, and in plus form, it's got 610 horsepower. The thing that's really special about the rear-wheel drive, though, is it's missing about 110 pounds right over the front axle, so it's a much better handling car. Last year, for 2022 model year, the V10 Performance rear-wheel drive coupe got a boost up to 562 horsepower. So the power to weight ratio between this and the 610 horse all-wheel drive is actually very, very similar. In that the all-wheel drive claws it off the line a little bit stronger by a tenth or two of a second to 60. But by the time they reach the quarter mile, both cars are going about the same speed. No one knows what the production numbers are going to be for 2023 yet on this platform but there will be a special edition of the car called the Audi R8 GT, 333 of those cars worldwide, and that's gonna be over 600 horsepower. So definitely a limited edition, but these, rumor is they've already stopped making these and shipped the rest of the cars. So going through this specific R8, we've got a few different options. Number one, and probably my most favorite, we've got the Sport Exhaust. So the sport exhaust gives you buttons on the steering wheel, allows you to push the button, open up the exhaust manually. Otherwise, in most R rates, or in the Lamborghini Huracan, for instance, when you put it in the sport mode setting, that's automatically going to open that exhaust valve. This car also has the diamond stitch upgrade. Really takes the interior to a different level. The next thing I think on this one that really stands out, you've got the red brake caliper option. And especially when you've got the Tango red paint, those really pop. We've added a black optics emblem package on this car. So you've got the, the rings in the front and rear in gloss black. Before they were chrome right from the factory, and I think it really detracts from the exterior because most of the trim on this car is in gloss black. We hope you'll have a chance to look at our other videos and other car reviews that we've done. Thanks for following. See you next time.